Hello, today's devotional can be found in Genesis chapter 29, verse 22. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. Okay, so Satan will guide men to do great evil and he will guide them to create opportunities for us that will lead to no good, but will be disguised as if they are good for us. This is why we need the gift of discernment so that we can be taught by the Spirit what is good and what is not so good. We cannot be afraid to allow the Spirit to teach us because the Spirit is of God and it will be able to protect us from harm if we want to be protected. However, it, like God, is bound by agency and if we choose to partake of things that are not good for us and go for opportunities that are not good to us, there can be no stopping us from pursuing our choice. But we will learn quickly that God gives us commandments to protect us <laughs> and that <coughs> excuse me when we go against God's protections, we put ourselves in trouble, and it's sometimes so deep of trouble that we are not able to get out without the help of the atonement. We can become trapped in our choices very easily if we don't act responsibly with our right to choose. And so God gives us commandments to protect us from being trapped in our choices. By keeping his commandments, we have more freedom to do as we will. But when we make bad choices, we are bound by those choices until we make different choices. But if we wait long enough to correct our behavior, then we may become trapped in our choices so much that we can't get out. And when the opportunity is given to us, to get out of our bad choices, we lash out at those we love. It's unfortunate, but every choice has consequences, both temporal and eternal. And we can't choose our consequences. They will happen, though. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.